Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, the CEO of Audio Advice. This video is designed to help you nail down the right contrast and brightness settings on your television or projector. If you've not yet watched my top five tips for improving your home theater video, I would suggest you watch that first as it covers all the major items you want to adjust in order, including brightness and contrast. Let me start by saying that if you have a relatively new television or projector from one of the top brands, these are generally calibrated very well and you mainly need to just choose the picture format and it will get brightness and contrast right. While the names will vary from brand to brand, you will likely see one named Cinema, Natural, Filmmaker, or Reference. These generally have the best combination of contrast and colors to match what the content producers originally wanted. So in most cases, simply select one of these four depending on which brand you have. The exception would be if your room has lots of ambient light and you just have to sacrifice picture quality to get the brightness you want. Then feel free to choose a bright preset. Now, let's say you've already done this and you wanna go one extra level and tweak your brightness and contrast to be the best possible, or you have an older television or projector and wanna get it right. First, take a picture of your settings before changing them so you can revert back later if you want. Now, turn off the lights in the room so it's dark as if you're watching a movie. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you a black test pattern. This test pattern has different levels of black and is designed to help you match the black on your display to what the filmmaker set as reference black in their content. So as you look at this image, what you want to do is go into your picture settings and begin adjusting the brightness level, or sometimes called black level, until you only see solid black from column 16 to the left. You should be able to see the different levels to the right of 16. I know it sounds strange, but you're changing brightness to set your black level. Essentially, this adjustment is setting the entire brightness of the image so that you have it as bright as you can and still have your darkest black match the darkest black from your content. I'm gonna let this play for a total of two minutes and then we'll bring up the contrast pattern. Now, let's move on to set contrast. Almost counterintuitive, when you set contrast, you're setting your peak white level, and thus the contrast from your darkest black to your whitest white. We wanna set this as high as we can without having your higher whites wash out. So set this so that everything to the left of 235 flashes. You can take it up a little higher as well if you want, but the higher you set the contrast, the more risk you have of washing out detail in the brighter parts of your image. If you're watching a movie or content and it looks like the whites are too washed out, just bring it back down a little.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our companion videos on our top five tips for improving your home theater video and audio. If you have any questions at all or are looking to upgrade your theater, give us a call or chat with us at audiovice.com. Also, check out our free home theater design tool, how-to videos, inspiration gallery, and home theater showcase videos at audioadvice.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.